I was sitting at the dinner table with my family and we were talking about books. And one of the things that came up that I was trying to explain to them is what made a good story. Now, a lot of people will sit there and say, what is a good story is subjective and that's based on the opinions of an individual. But almost every good story that I have seen follows a certain um, structure and a form. And usually most really good stories start out with a solid premise. When you have a writer who creates a solid premise, it is something that every reader can read from the synopsis, see that it's interesting and want to take a look at. And it's a, the kind of story that's going to get you, you know, based on the ideas, interested in it. And then when you start reading the first four or five pages, you're pretty much hooked. And in addition to a good premise, a good story also features a rock solid plot. So from the first four or five pages, the reader knows who the main character is, what they want, and the conflicts that they have to face, and most importantly, why we should care about this character and what they want to do. That's really the layering, the foundation of that good story. And then on top of that, you have your multi-dimensional characters. Really good characters have good internal character traits and good external character traits, and their actions pretty much define who they are. So that's another core element of a really good story. In addition, and that, when it comes down to characters, you have good protagonists and good antagonists. So you have a hero that everybody likes and relates to, and you also have a bad guy that people kind of like and relate to. So those are, another, those are other elements of a good story. And in addition to that, you also have a good compelling narrative. That means your writer pretty much is using a prose style that is drawing you in, that it's hooking you, and all of these elements usually come together in a book, and when, they're, when they come together well, the reader pretty much doesn't see them, but when the reader does, um, when a reader is reading the story, they're pretty much being drawn into this character's world, they're being compelled to read more, they're connecting with this character as a person, and they're identifying with their experiences, they're relating to this character, and they're relating to their experiences, and they want to root for the hero and see them overcome the obstacles that are placed in front of them so they can continue reading to get to the end of the story. That's the core elements of a good story. And a lot of people, you know, I think they take reading and literature for granted that they don't understand what the elements of a good story are and they don't know a good story when they see one. Because really good stories, again, they really just they draw you in from the premise. The main character is interesting. Their um, goals are something you want to see to the end. They want to see the conflict resolved, and you want to watch them on this journey as they overcome each obstacle that's placed in front of them. So when you're in, when you're reading the story, you're being taken into this character's world. You're you're connecting with the people there, and instead of it just being words on a page. It becomes almost real to you in your imagination. You start seeing people um, from the descriptions. You start hearing character voices in the dialogue. And this book becomes alive. That's what a good story is. Now, as a writer, I understand that what, how, to, how to make good stories because I understand um, what plot and structure and all those elements are. And if it's not working for me, then I know it won't work for the reader. And I always take the time to go about trying to read the story over and over again, making sure that every almost every detail in the story um, meshes and flows smoothly um, from the beginning so that the reader can come in and they'll be able to see what I'm trying to imagine. I try to make the picture as clear as possible because in, the way I write stories is like, I see it like a movie inside of my head um, and I see the actions going on and I try to take the pictures that I see in my imagination and I try to turn them into words and that's a bit of a challenge but I, I try to do that all the time um, and that's why I try, that's how I believe the elements of a good story and a lot of people they, they, they take stories for granted and they don't they think it's um, a subjective process that um, that their opinion is a good story but if the elements aren't there then you're, you're gonna see things that are gonna start missing you're gonna see plot holes um, characters that are underdeveloped where the character's voice isn't very strong 
or the character's personality isn't strong, or their actions aren't very consistent. And these are the elements that take the reader out of the story and take them out of the reading experience. This is what takes them away from their imagination. They start connecting reality, their reality, instead of coming into the fantasy. A really good story, you're reading it from first page to the last, and you want to go out and read more of this author's work because the story was so good, you want to keep picking up their stories, you want to keep picking up their books, and you feel compelled to keep reading their, their material. And good writers understand that, you know, your job is to provide a great reading experience to the reader. Your job is to create that story that pretty much immerses the reader into the world that you're creating and opens their imagination so that they are seeing what you're seeing and they want to see this character achieve what you, um, the, the quest that you sent them out to do or accomplish what you set out for them to accomplish. And once they, and once you get them from the beginning all the way to the conclusion of the story, they're back asking for another story. And that's what a good story does. A good story pretty much leaves you asking for more, not saying, you know, you want to be, you want to just head for the door. And that's what a good story does. Good stories, really, they get you excited, they get you um, ready to read more, and they make you enthusiastic and passionate about reading. Um, and a lot of people think that they that writing those type of stories is easy, and it's not really easy. It's very hard to create that type of story because you have to be in the right mindset and the right frame of mind to create, you know, compelling stories. And you have to be inspired to create compelling stories. And most importantly, you have to understand how to do it by using, applying the rules of writing, which is structure, um, creating those, following those rules, and then wrapping your form around it so that people can understand um, the message that you're trying to tell in the story and the, the um, and the, um, not, not, not just the message, but also um, the plot points that you're trying to lay out. And all those elements, when they come together, they're pretty seamless and you can't see them unless um, you're really looking for them. And sometimes, a lot of times, people will not see how all this stuff comes together um, until they finish reading the story. Um, when a good book, it, it's, 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 so, it's so strong that, you know, you like it so much that you're going to go out and share it with your friends. And that's part of what makes a good story. Good stories are the ones that people want to share with other, other people. And they wanted to um, talk about with their family and friends and things that they learn from them, they take and apply to their real lives. That's what a good story does has in it, and that's what a good story um, features. And you can pick up many of my great stories on the SJS Direct imprint on Amazon.com by clicking the link in the description box. I have a whole host of fantasy um, titles and contemporary fiction that are entertaining reads and great reading. So I urge you to go pick them up in paperback and ebook today.